Hello, I am Lord Vader with D&D Gaming, and today we're gonna be taking a look on the new Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order gameplay review. Jedi Fallen Order takes place five years after Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and before Solo, a Star Wars story. Star Wars Rebels Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Five years after the Great Jedi Purge, former Jedi Padawan Kao Kestis works in the junkyard on the planet Braca, scraping ships for the Clone Wars, but is forced to use his Force powers to save his friend Proof during an accident. But without knowing, this event was captured by nearby Imperial probe droid, which transmits the footage to the Galactic Empire, causing Kao's true identity to be revealed to the Imperials, what forces him to flee. The game plays seems to find a lot of inspiration on games like Uncharted and Dark Souls, what is not really a bad thing, since it is incorporated in a really nice way, like the incorporation of a skill tree. Different than a lot of other games, this is a game that makes it really hard for you to just plow through the game in hack and slash style gameplay. It is a very defensive style gameplay that requires you to be able to dodge, parry and then attack. You cannot bypass this outpost! This may not be something new on those type of games, but added a really nice touch to the gameplay. On the replayability side, the game allows you to move around the play area using your ship, but allows you to access areas that you could not access before. While there's nothing new on the combat side compared to other AAA games and Star Wars games, the combat's still very appealing to the fans, since you're able to use a lot of the abilities from the Star Wars canon, like for example the slow down move that we have seen on The Force Awakens, that not only helps you to slow down blaster shots, but also go through some areas in the game that would be almost impossible without. issues that most players have seen to experience are certain lag issues while getting into new areas even with builds above the recommended requirements, but not really something that should take you from the gameplay. The only negative reveals I could find about the game that received a 90% on Metacritic and has a 94 on Google at the time of this video have to do with the story length. Most players feel that for a $60 game, that can be completed easily in 10 to 15 hours and with no multiplayer game mode and extremely linear is just not enough and that more content should be added at no cost for players. But should you buy it? As a Star Wars fan I would say yes, 
But as a gamer, my opinion is that games with a fairly short storyline and no multiplayer option will be easily on the pre-owned racks within the following weeks and having a big price drop of the same in a month or so, unless they add more content. So while I would happily buy the game for the story alone, I would wait a couple of weeks. This game is getting a name mindless, but only for the amount of content. If they were to add some more content at no cost for players, it would definitely go up to an A-plus on my chart. Now, you must go and hit that subscribe button, give me a like, share this video, and leave me a comment below. And may the force be with you. Always.